For this video review, we're going to take a look at Action Force Valover Series 5 Recon Gear Pack. So finally, my pre-order has arrived. I ordered four of this Recon Gear Pack. So let's unbox one. Okay, so time to go tactical. Okay, so let's start with the head gear. So the bump helmet. So this is the new design of the bump helmet. So this is the side. This is the front. The top. The other side. And the back. So this time it's going to be three attachment points or holes per side and the attachment point for the night vision goggles. Okay, so let's take the night vision goggles. So we already have a change on the NVGs quad nods this time instead of the um, dual nods or the PVS 14s. So this time it's not going to be an inversion process where you would just flip it over. This time it has a working hinge. So this is going to be the attachment point to the head bucket. Here you go. And it folds up. So the outer part of the optics is painted red, nice and red, and the paint is nice and clean. The frame of the quad nodes is also nicely painted green. So from the headgear, let's go to the kit or the chest rig. Okay. So connection points on the back. So it's going to be this two, and it's going to be a easy thing. So just hit these portions up before you peg it in. That's the simplest way to really do it. Even with the older Action Force Valover's vests. So this is the details of the strap system for the back of this chest rig. So three magazines or three caddies mag pull magazines which are removable and we have three packets possibly to store m20 uh, m203 grenades for the rifle the underbellied um, grenade launcher so possibly on these two sections and i believe or possibly think that that is going to be a medical kit or the dangler system so we have a packet for a mobile device or a smartphone and communication device. So the push to talk <coughs> and the small squad radio. On this side, we are clear or devoid of any pouches or accessories. Moving on towards the battle belt. Now this is going to be a major change. So I think it's going to be the first time that um, Action Force Valovers is going to accommodate left hand pistol drawers because it has always been a right hand pistol draw for majority of their um, previous offerings. Okay, so as you could see, this is the void of the pistol holster or the outside the waistband <laughs> pistol holster or the pancake holster. Now, special features of the pancake holster. We have a molding of the pistol. So light and an accommodation for the RMR or the red dot sight. Nicely done. As for features of the pistol, so very fancy slide, very nice pistol grips, 
extended base plate of course if you're going to run a flared mag weld you always have to have an extended base plate a pistol light or possibly a laser and your red dot sight or RMR the front sight on this is quite raised so good job Action Force Valvers with um, incorporating majority of the real or lifelike features into this pistol so we still have the other mechanisms of a 1911 single stock or double stock pistol so nice job okay so next is going to be a pouch for a suppressor so the suppressor of course this is a brand new product so you need some kind of tool to take it out and it attaches to the end of the 1911 or the staccato that way and this is the overall look of the pistol or the sidearm or the secondary weapon we still have a hole for the included effects Resecuring your suppressor, just make note that we have a hole on the pouch and that peg goes through that hole. There you go. So connection of the battle belt to the action figure. So we don't need to boil or subject the action figure to hair dryer and take it apart on the waist. This time it's going to be just a peg system. So there you go. So let's detach that point. And of course, just heat this up with a hair dryer and easy peasy, just snap it into place. So instead of trying to struggle with it, subject it to a little bit of hair dryer first. This section only, not that peg. So make your life easy. <laughs> okay, so we have several pouches still to possibly store gear and we have another possibly a burner phone, a folder, a small pouch and a bigger pouch. But we, the only thing is we don't have any pistol magazine pouch on this battle belt we still have actually space on this section and on this section of the chest rig so it would have been really nice if action force valvers um later on would um include that in the mold magazine pouches even if it's something that we don't remove at least please do include it Okay, to com just to complete the system. Now we have a drop leg pouch for the grenades. Okay, so yeah, the only the other gripe that I have with this, these sections is not painted. Now something new for um, drop leg accessories is this time it's going to be molded plastic so unlike the previous offerings were in the pouches are a separate thing and you could take them off this time it's going to be a molded in piece so you can't take these three um, grenade pouches off for this um, accessory so to take them off of course this is going to be a brand new out of the box thing so you need tweezers so we could take a look at the grenades okay so the paint on this is actually gun metal it's not silver it's really not shiny 
Okay, so gunmetal. Same with the rifle and the magazines. That's the same paint and the finish on the secondary firearm and the suppressor. Okay, so this is how it looks. Oops, we dropped it. Okay. And time to place it back. Okay, so we're done with this. Now let's take a look at the main battle implement. So this is the close-up details of the rifle. So it is based on the M16 or the AR-15 platform, which I'm very familiar with, trained with, and used. So we have a sighting system and a sighting system for the M203 grenade launcher underbelly attachment but the only thing is the sighting system is folded up so well very easy fix just exacto knife that thing and glue it on top so it's folded down <laughs> Okay, so a new design for the underbelly M203 grenade launcher, but this is reminiscent of the old school Vietnam era M16 with M203 underbelly attachment, except that the trigger is going to be located on this section instead of that section. Okay. So we have a Magpul fixed stock, a Magpul pistol grip, and a Magpul magazine, which is removable and has an extended base plate. Here we go. So it's all of the features of the AR platform here. So, yep. So, magazine release, dust guard, shell deflector, charging handle, safeties, and on the back, and of course your release for your bolt, still there. Okay, so all of the features of the AR platform are on this model. But, yep, pencil barrel. I would have wanted a thicker barrel for this um, rifle. And of course, it sports a birdcage flash hider. The Action Force Balabers um, figure model that we have the recon gear pack on is going to be Deluxe Blowback. Okay, so this is how the gear set is going to look on the action figure. Okay, so with regards to the connection points on the belt and on the kit. Well, you really have to subject these points, the holes to hit first before you peg it in. But don't warm the pegs up <laughs> just the connection points the holes and it's going to stay in place actually so i've already tried uh, tried and played with this action figure and yeah good to go it stays in place okay so 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 this is going to be the blowback pistol belt as you could see ammunition pouches for the magazines of the pistol but that is something that we don't see with series 5 it's just going to be pistol and suppressor and a couple of pouches and we still have space on this section for that actually so i would have appreciated it more if they did not include these two pouches and just molded the magazine pouches 
in place so this would have been really really great okay so with regards to attachment points on the bump helmet so your old attachment points with your action force valvers figures that you already have on board they could connect to okay so there you go so that's the evidence okay so with regards to the size of the helmet um i think this is a new uh, diameter for action force valver series 5 we're in the new figures possibly would have bigger um heads um because take a look at this so the bump helmet that's quite loose with this blowback action figure so i also try the other blowback head the standard head or the unmasked head there you go so as you could see there's still a little bit of play but compared to the one that is issued with the blowback figure stays in place no play at all okay but with this as you could see that's the evidence we have more space so i guess the newer series 5 action figures would have bigger heads well something that um is a uh, easily remedied actually so just a little bit of tape on underneath the helmet so to cover up for the spaces so but if you wish to use series 5 recon gear pack with your older action force valvers figures here you go so that's the evidence that it is very possible okay so let's complete the recon gear pack by adding a action force valvers backpack <laughs> okay so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review <laughs>